Hey guys, we're at Warp 9 today. We brought in these stock KTM wheel sets. They're a little haggard, a little beat up from Baja and from all the testing that's been on them. But we brought them down here today to show you how the disassembly works and a little bit about what we're going to do to rebuild these wheels. So over the last few months, some of the riding that we've been doing hasn't been extreme, but with 30 hours of wear and tear, you can see how bad it's chipped away at the rim. All the bearings, the seals, those have been kind of oxidized and corroded, so we're going to have to replace the bearings pretty much replace everything. But I want to salvage the stock hub, so we're going to utilize Warp 9's very best elite rim. We're going to use titanium spokes, send the hub back to Japan to get Kashima coated, and we're going to put all new parts, rotors, sprocket, and we're going to turn this into one mean looking wheel. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right guys, we're here at Warp 9. We're going to go in the back, tear these things down. We have the hubs in their raw state, uh, bearings, seals, everything's been taken out, all the rotor bolts. So they're ready to get sent off to Japan to get Kashima coated. So one thing to be sure if you're doing anything like this on your own is plugging holes properly, right, to make sure the fitment of the spokes will go through. Uh, so we can't thank Kevin enough for letting us down here, working with his technician to get these torn apart. And when they come back, he's got a few ideas that are going to turn these into some beautiful trick looking wheels. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right, so this is like being a kid in a candy shop, right? We have our own unique creation in mind, but as you can see, there are so many variations of wheels that you can build here. Kevin's got some of the most beautiful, simplistic, and elegant wheels I've ever seen. You dream it, we can build it. We've got mild to wild. Cush drive. And these are supermoto wheels, right? These are supermoto wheels, and this is our cush drive hub. So it's a two-part hub with a rubber cushioning system in between. Is that for like dampening when Helps the torque hits? and cuts out a lot of the vibration from the engine. Oh, so. that's cool. Well, I guess there you have it. So if you're looking to get into moto, off-road, or supermoto, we can do it. It's not bad. Apparently, we're only limited by our uh, imagination. So let's see what we can dream up, shall we? Alright guys, so the time has come. We finally got the hubs back from anodizing and they look gorgeous. We just got everything laced up, just looking killer. And we're here with Kevin today to kind of go over what we did with the wheel set itself. So Kevin, take it away. Alright, so we had to go all out on his wheels of course. We did titanium spokes, a Warp 9 exclusive, check that out right there. We tied it up with uh, silver aluminum nipples just to give it a little pop. And of course, did your OEM hubs in your Nakashimi finish. Yeah. And uh, they turned out amazing. Teamed it up with our Elite rim, which is a 7050 gray aluminum uh, with a higher heat treating process than our standard rim. It is a fantastic, very durable rim. So, the reason why I like to go high end on all my stuff is motocross bikes that take a beating, right? I don't ride desert quite as much and I don't race as much anymore either, but I do kind of a smattering of desert, track, enduro, everything. But I was really curious to try these tie spokes, lighten it up, and these wheels are incredibly light. Granted, the stock hub is light to begin with, but even with the bearings, the nipples, everything in place, I, it is unbelievable how light this wheel is. But as he said, with the 7050 grade aluminum rim, which is very similar to what the A60s run, you have a nice stiff wheel, Right, that is ultra light, so braking acceleration will obviously be impacted by that. Should pick up, and can't wait to see what they feel like out on the track. Sounds good. We also teamed them up with our KYK bearings out of Japan, and this is an ABEC 5, so it's a higher tolerance bearing than what you'll find on most aftermarket wheels. So, a better grease, a better tolerance, it's going to last you a lot longer than what your standard bearings are. Yeah. All right, guys, now that we have the wheels done, we're going to do a comparison, see what the standard Warp 9 rim, hub, spoke, and nipple um. setup is compared to the wheels that we built. So here's the first test. This is a 19-inch 19-inch rear wheel. Get her on the scale here. So 9.14. 9.14. All right. So well, that's our rear wheel. Now we're going to try our Warp 9 Elite. Luzak, <laughs> Luzak custom <laughs> wheel, right? 
Let's see how she fares. What did that come into? 7.11. 7.11. Two pounds. Two pounds of weight just in the wheel. And keep in mind, we are going to be running titanium axles as well with titanium rotor bolts and sprocket bolts. So we significantly drop our unsprung weight off this wheel alone. That's incredible. All right, let's take a look at the front wheel. Now let's see what the front wheel comes in at. We got seven pounds, seven ounces. All right. Now we're going to see what our custom Warp 9 Elite front wheel comes in at. Nice and gentle. Oh my gosh. Five pounds, 15 ounces. So again, what was that? Another two pounds? So in total, we dropped four pounds of weight just in the wheel build itself. And again, we'll run titanium axles. So between the front axle, the rear axle, and the pivot bolt, we're about a pound and a third, pound and a half? Yeah, pound and a half. Pound and a half weight difference, okay? So we just dropped four pounds off this 350 build, which is great because since we added cone valve spring forks to the bike, that was an additional three pounds. We just dropped off that weight again and an additional pound just in the wheel set, which is your crucial area for unsprung mass. Good job, guys. So, overall, very impressed. Again, Warp Night, Warp 9. Built these beautiful wheels. We'll get them out there. Stay tuned. We'll see what it looks like on the bike. Thanks.